So if the effects of chemistry, you know, you dial it up to 10 and that's you at, you at your most unstable and kooky, perhaps you dial it down to seven, right? Because if you have a seven chemistry and a 10 compatibility, you've got a really, really nice life with someone. The problem is we chase the 10 chemistry because we can't help ourselves. When we have seven, it's just not enough. I need more. So you dump the seven and you go for the 10 chemistry. But what happens? You get the 10 chemistry and you end up with four compatibility. It's not a real formula to build a life partnership with. And that's really what we're talking about. We make decisions based on short-term input, not really on long-term input. Right? It's like we're, we're like day traders looking for the next greatest thing instead of what's the stock that I'm going to be able to hold for the next 40 years? Right? That thing, I mean, other scientists have studied that the, the chemical rush that you get out of a relationship, they generally say it's over in 18 to 24 months. So what beyond 18 to 24 months are you left with if it's not going to be the rush, if that goes away? Well, if you were driven so much by the rush, you might end up with the person who's emotionally unavailable, who's abusive, who isn't consistent to you, who doesn't treat you the way you want to be treated. Okay. The, I mean, look at your life. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. So you really, really want to get, get the idea that as, as wonderful as the feeling of chemistry is, you don't have to turn it all off, but you, do, you just can't be a slave to it. And then really trying to find that balance of, of chemistry and compatibility is essential.